What's up everybody, it's King Kunta, and I am back again with another gold farm. And before I go ahead and start the farm, I'd ask, or I'd like to ask you guys to click the links in the description below and the comment section as well, because I've got all my recording gear, software, good stuff like that uh, linked down below, so make sure you check those out. But today we are going to be farming some Burning Crusade uh, transmog gear. And I already know the comments that are going to come in about, oh, Transmog doesn't sell, blah, blah, blah. Those comments could not be more wrong. Because if, tra you tra like, if your Transmog is not selling on your server, it's because of your server or the amount of Transmog you're selling. Because the way we get all these pieces to sell off is the fact that we just have hundreds of them on the auction house at one time. And you kind of got to know what piece is worth what and when you should disenchant and when you should just list it on the auction house. Kind of, you get a feel for it eventually though. But in farming these transmog gears, we can actually get a very good amount of uh, item level out of this. Just because all the Burning Crusade gear is still super hot just because of that... Uh, red color way it's got going for it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the video and when we are back we will be at the farming location and from there I'll just explain everything we need to do. And I will see you right after this cut. Bye. What is up everybody? We are back after that cut and as you can see we are at the uh, farming location. So today we're going to be farming the instance called Seth Heck. I, no, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Something halls, Seth Neck halls, something like that. But just so you guys know where it's at, we are in Terracar Forest. Yeah, I pronounced that wrong probably. Which is in Outland, and you should honestly, you should probably know how to get to Outland by now. But this, this where the instance is located can kind of be a little bit confusing, so I'm just going to go ahead and get you guys started. So if your alliance coming from Hellfire, or a Horde coming from Shadow Moon, you all want to come here into the forest. So we go into this, oh, not the right place, sorry. You go into this big little crater that's right in here, and then you want to make sure you're, you're going in the portal that's facing this way, towards Shadow Moon Valley, just like this. And I'll show you just exactly where it's at, too, so it's not confusing. So we're in the center of this big uh, Colosseum-type thing, and uh, the way you can tell is when you come in, this is the only room with a big fire uh, playing on right there kind of stuff yeah so this far or this dungeon is famous for being very good with transmog gear especially if you set the dungeon difficulty on heroic and i will show you why so once you get here make sure you pop bear tartar or any speed buff that you have because it is going to make the dungeon much easier and once inside the dungeon i'll begin to explain um exactly how you want to go about running this dungeon this one, I'm going to be honest with you, it's quite simple, so much to the point where really it consists of doing like one thing, and that is switching to whatever f form or kind of speed buff you do get, uh, and just kind of like grouping up every mob in the instance and then nuking them all at the end. So this dungeon is very good just because you can get a sheer like the amount of mobs you're able to kill in this is a ton and the fact that they all drop decent gear is actually uh, one of the draws or actually the only draw to this dungeon really and by the time you hit instance lock you will have over a a hundred thousand gold in item value I guarantee it because people have actually walked out out of here with item value upwards of like five hundred thousand so really that's all I have uh, regarding this instance um, there's a couple different ways you can run it. You can just do what I'm doing, or you can run the entire long way, but they will start kind of stunning you around this area, and it can get, kind of get annoying, which, as you can see, is kind of happening right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nuke these all, just to kind of give you guys maybe a little bit of an idea um, of what kind of gear they drop. As you can see, they will kind of like stun lock you, and it'll be a pain in the butt. So we got a ton of nether weave there. Got a green, another green, some trash. Obviously I don't have auto loot on, but everybody knows that they need to have auto loot on. And uh, that's all we got from there, so let's see. Not worth a lot. Oh, that one's okay. 
And yeah, as you can see, that's uh, how well we did. Oh, uh, home. Okay, okay. And uh, we also did get a bunch of nether weave. So you can see why this farm is uh, useful. And that's really all I have. Um, so if you made it this far, tell me what you thought of the video. If you liked it, uh, leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe. And also make sure you guys check out the links in the description below because that's what helps me make this my hopefully career in the future. That's the hope. If I can do this, if I can do YouTube throughout college, I, I think we can get to daily uploads doing that and it'll be very fun for all of us combined. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.